Hello everyone and welcome back to Make Game Repeat. This time I want to tell you how I keep the player out of the walls or in other words how I use custom collision detection which is needed to fit the rather unusual movements. Later in the video you will see that some additional collision checks are needed because the player is pretty fast. First of all we want to prevent the player from falling through the floor because gravity in games is nothing more than an illusion. The player is just constantly accelerated downwards. To prevent him from falling through the floor, the game constantly checks if something is beneath and in that case removes the downwards velocity. At that point, we can still move through walls and all the ramps. To prevent this, another check is executed. This time we check if any object is intersecting with the player's hitbox. In that case, the velocity towards the surface is removed. But at that point we are technically still in another object. To move out of the object again, we calculate the depth of the penetration and move the player back a bit. At that point you would think we are done. And you would be right, but only for slow objects. Unfortunately the player is moving pretty fast. As movement is calculated in discrete steps, the player can glitch through objects as you can see here. Now we no longer know where we came from. It could be either of the both sides. To prevent this case, another check is executed at high velocities. We basically look ahead if there are any objects the player could collide with. In that case, the velocity is removed even before the actual collision, which means the player already stops at approximately 1 meter in front of the object. But at high speeds, this is barely noticeable. Last of all, I had to change the ramp generation we saw in a past video, because it could happen that the player is stopped at a ramp's intersection, as you can see here. This happens if the player clips into a ramp just before an intersection. A collision occurs with the front side of the next ramp. To solve this, the front and back sides of the ramps are removed. And finally, the movement feels satisfying and consistent, as it should be. If you want to try out the new version, you can find the updated files on the game's itch.io page. The link is in the description. I hope you had as much fun watching my videos as I had making it. Your thoughts and comments about my videos or the game are very welcome. I will read every single one of them. And if you don't want to miss any future videos, please subscribe and I hope to see you on the next one. Have a nice day!